Hey guys, APOX Phoenix. Today I'm going to be doing a new video on this channel. So I'm going to be talking about how to get better at Call of Duty now. Um, I'm not sure whether you guys know, but I did take quite a couple breaks. I took two breaks um, um, during my time playing Call of Duty. I still play Call of Duty. I play a lot more than I used to um, like after retiring the first time or just quitting. Um, and it's really hard to get back into it after you've quit. It's also really hard to get in when you first start. So I've got some tips um, to help you get back into Call of Duty. Um, now, if you've played another gun game where it's quite slower paced than Call of Duty, then you're going to struggle with higher sensitivities. And I wouldn't recommend going with higher sensitivities anyway, because higher sensitivities actually um, decrease your accuracy. So if you go with like... I'd, I used to play on a 14 sensitivity and I play on a 6 and I found myself very, very accurate. I go on a lot more streaks now. So I would recommend about a 5, 6 or 7 um, sensitivity just to, so you can control it all. But if you can't go with that then try and find the perfect sensitivity for you. Also this year most guns are really, really, really balanced so it's like it's whatever gun you find to, that works for your playstyle and what you enjoy. Now I do use the Weevil and the VMP quite a bit, um, but any assault rifle you like can also work because um, it's all really balanced and it depends on what how you play on how the gun performs. So I do recommend um, depending on the size of the map. So if you research size map sizes and stuff like that, I'm sure you'll find something. I'll, if I can find something, I'll put it in the description. Um, if you want to find all the size of the maps and then um, find the perfect guns for them, well then you could do that, but you've only got five class slots if you're just starting off, but if you're a high prestige, then it's going to work out perfectly because you've got more classes. Now there isn't ten maps, but it's, it's you're going to have to deal with it anyway. So, um, also you need to play very tactically, use your specialist, that's why it's there, you need to every time you need to make the most of getting your specialist so I use the ripper a lot if if I get the ripper once I'll use it straight away and then I'll get some kills with it then I'll and then because I've used it straight away I will um, earn my ripper a lot faster so I'll have more chances of using the ripper which will make it a lot um, easier to get kills because they're there to get kills for you so if you do use your specialist um, as soon as you get it and try and get a lot of kills with it. I mean, it's not, it, you can't just really go out and say go get kills with it. Uh, but it, you got to try and get some kills with it um, as soon as you get it, really. Um, but if you can't, use it as fast as possible in the right situations, um, depending on um, what's going on in your game. Now, if you're very attacking using a submachine gun, if you're not really attacking um, using a assault rifle, but I do recommend trying to make your gun as accurate as possible and as fast as possible because that may work. So I do like to use on my Weevil rapid fire, quick draw and then um, I think it's a grip so then it's accurate and it's fast and it's not just the attachments this year which make it, which make your gun good and help you out, it's also the streaks. So I do recommend going with the Wraith, the Raps, and a County UAV or a Hater, depending on um, what you're trying to play, if you're trying to go team or if you're trying to do like go solo. So do base your score streaks and attachments on that. Also base your perks on that as well. So I do try and go with Scavenger if you're trying to get a lot of kills. Um, in score streaks and in just streaks in general, do go with uh, scavenger because you will need it because gun ammo isn't that big in submachine guns or assault rifles. And then, if you want to like kind of like I don't know, go with like quite a quiet silent class. Well, then you're want, gonna want to go with um, you're gonna want to go with cold blooded, ghost, and um, blast suppressor so no one can hear you. No one can see you on UAVs and can't see you in thermal sights. So, um, they're the best tips I have to get back into Call of Duty or to get good at Call of Duty. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. I've been Aphiox Remix. I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.